Ladies and gents, welcome back. For those of us interested in free speech on the internet, we got some bad news on Friday, and that came in the form of a letter from Elon Musk terminating his deal from the Twitter arrangement. He was going to buy Twitter for $44 billion, and it was agreed upon, the Twitter board uh, accepting the offer and awaiting payment. Now, Elon Musk comes back and says, no, I'm not going to do it. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you could read this in its entirety. But yes, this is his June 6th letter saying, uh, nope, I'm not going to buy it. I'm backing out of the deal uh, because you guys didn't give enough information uh, when requested uh, to, to inform himself. He wasn't able to inform himself on what the, uh, what the deal entailed. And this largely has to do with what he's talking about when it comes to bots. Now, some people are saying, hey, he's just using this as a ploy to get the price down even further. When as soon as he backed out of the deal, Twitter stock immediately plummeted, uh, dropping uh, quite a bit, I think, in, in to, down to $30, $34, something like that, immediately on Friday. And it was up, it was a lot, up a lot higher. Of course, the deal is going through as if the stock was worth fifty four twenty uh, per share, but it, yeah, it dropped down below thirty four dollars. Now Elon Musk coming out late Sunday evening with this meme on Twitter. He was silent for a while, but he puts this out, and this is a, of course, a Chuck mate, <laughs> to which he he fills uh, fills everyone in there what he actually meant there. That was his intention here, Chuck mate, and this is of course. Chuck Norris, uh, if you play Chuck Norris at chess, he only needs one pawn, <laughs> apparently. This comes from all the, the Chuck Norris jokes, you know, like uh, Chuck Norris, or sorry, Superman wears Chuck Norris pajamas, or Chuck Norris doesn't do push-up, he push-ups, he pushes the earth down. This is another famous one. Chuck Norris was here, and he chose scissors. <laughs> of course. Uh, but Elon uh, declaring a Chuck mate because of a meme that he posted just prior to this and using his own face in this meme format, which, of course, is a great meme format. Uh, but here he is posting, they said I couldn't buy Twitter. And, of course, uh, he, he was able to. He was given the opportunity to. Then they wouldn't disclose the bot info. And... Famously, uh, yeah, he he wanted more information on the bots because he wanted to get a better deal. Uh, Twitter, uh, <laughs> Twitter claiming that their bots are five percent of their platform, where Elon Musk is saying they're they're above twenty percent of the platform. That's the active users on the platform. He's saying it, it's at minimum twenty percent. The bots are just outrageous on this platform. Now they want me to <laughs> they want to force me to buy Twitter in court. Now they have to disclose the bot info in court. So now they actually have to get in into a courtroom. They're suing him to make sure that he still buys the company for $44 billion. Now they have to defend that by stating how much of the platform are bots. Now the original uh, charge from Elon Musk was that uh, they only sampled 100 users and took Took from that that they discovered that a hundred of those or five five of those one hundred users were bots. Uh, that was a, a simple one sample, and then they filed that with the SEC and also told their uh, advertisers on the platform that this is what uh, the bots were. Now this, of course, uh, would be seen as fraud in the eyes of the court. So uh, yeah, that's a chuckmate for sure. Now, yeah, Twitter is hitting back and saying we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna sue you and take you to court. <laughs> and of course, well, here's here where here's where we are, right? So, what is it? Is it is Elon Musk trying to still acquire the company? Is he using this as a ploy to get the price way, way, way down so that he can acquire it, or is he just trying to meme this company out of existence? Maybe he's just taken upon himself to destroy the company? I don't know. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. It used to be, I've, I've said this many times on the platform, I go to Twitter so you don't have to. It is the hyperbolic chamber, I like to call it, of the internet where people uh, road rage with words. This is where people have the uh, 
the audacity to say some of the things that they have to say to other human beings. Um, they wouldn't obviously say these things that they say on Twitter if they were face to face with anyone. Uh, but this is this is the uh, the hyperbolic chamber that has destroyed civil discourse <laughs> as we know it, uh, largely to do to uh, people's anonymity, but not when it comes to um, celebrity types. Uh, no, they they don't have any anonymity. They're they're out there with their names, all the check marks uh, saying what they will. Now the hopes. Here was that Elon Musk would acquire the company and, as he was promising, make it a free speech platform, open up the the source code so anybody could read it and actually make it the town square, uh, unlike what it has been for the past few years, which is an echo chamber for uh, radical leftists and uh, with a very, very controlled opposition by the engineers and staff behind Twitter shadow banning people or... Um, just limiting how much the opposition can come out and speak against this echo chamber. Now it's famous that people, people on the left don't they want they don't want free speech because they don't want to be have their ideas out in the open where they can uh, be scrutinized. They want to speak their mind, uh, but not have anyone come at them. So Twitter has been helping with that, with uh, agitation and uh, their terms of service and and uh, the. <laughs> <laughs> Strange way that they enforce that. Anyway, this is what is happening uh, so far. We've got Elon Musk with his Chuck mate. Uh, <laughs> and we'll see where this goes. We'll see where this goes. And obviously, leave a, a comment in the comment section down below. Are you on Twitter? Because uh, I've encouraged a lot of people to join when Elon Musk made his announcement that he was going to acquire the company. But a lot of people saying... Well, I'm I'm gonna jump ship if if Elon does, doesn't actually go through with it because if it's not free speech, people don't want to be there. People people don't want to be squashed on social media. So we'll see what happens. But leave a comment in the comment section down below what you think is gonna happen. Are you gonna stick around on Twitter? Are you gonna stay in the in the hyperbolic chamber, um, or are you gonna jump ship and go to another media platform? I know a lot of people left Facebook because it's just terrible over there. I don't use that platform myself, but. Hey, we'll see what you guys think. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Keep on trucking.